A few weeks ago, I picked up the phone in the newsroom to a concerned person in Macon County. She lives in USDA subsidized housing, and to put it lightly, she's not happy with the neglected maintenance work throughout the property. She says these tarps have been on the roof for over a year, and one of the neighbors had to even move his bedroom setup into the living room because of water damage. After she reached out to the USDA, elected officials, and the county, she called us to find answers. In 2022, Carol Embry was ready for a change of pace. I wanted quiet and safety. So she came here to Country Place Apartments in Maroa. It was just what you see, basically. Um, the window was cloudy, you know, things do need updated. The USDA oversees the subsidized housing. She moved in, got settled into her new home, and started calling USDA reps to get the ball rolling on needed maintenance. I told her about the apartment that was getting a lot of rain in it, and she said that was unacceptable. But two years later, she still has a lot of rain in there. The problems range from smaller things this is our door, and our door is very bad because when you do that, it comes out. To much larger, like old tarps on the roof and electrical meters falling off of some of the back units. Water coming in and dust from a farm field is not acceptable. Mold is not acceptable. Embry isn't the only one tired of dealing with issues like these. I guess the biggest problem is that they, they you cannot get any satisfaction for people to come over and just look at the item before they fix it. Have you ever seen an inspector out here? Any representatives no. out here? No. But that changed within two weeks of when I sent this email to the USDA. I asked about their responsibilities when it comes to the care of the apartments. They replied saying in part, quote, USDA does not own, operate, or manage properties it finances. USDA is prioritizing staff to conduct an inspection of Country Place Apartments. Embry called me back a few days later, and for the first time in two years, she says she saw inspectors on the property. They were looking at the torn apart roof, dilapidated siding, and broken meter boxes. Those are now reattached, her siding is fixed, and she hopes the roof is the next improvement to follow. They need to be updating the properties, they need to be caring for the properties, taking care of them, putting roofs on, you know, whatever is needed. The, those things need to be done so that the structures are safe. Another big problem both women say they face is cold air coming through the windows in the wintertime. They hope inspections continue in these summer months so they don't have to pile blanket after blanket on top of them when winter comes around.